Welcome back to Tuesday's 6 o'clock show where we're joined by radio and TV presenter Owen McDermott. Next on The Sixth Sofa is an international model who has worked on some of the biggest ad campaigns mm. in the world alongside the likes of Heidi Klum and Kate Moss. But it's not her face you'll recognise, it's her hands. Please welcome hand supermodel Nina Taylor. Hello. Yay! Hello there. I have been telling anyone who listen that you are going to be on the show this week. I've, okay. How did you get into this line of work, Nina? Well, that is like the million dollar question, isn't it? But everybody wants to know because it's kind of unusual, isn't it? Do you get spotted in the street? What happens? So for me, I didn't get spotted. Um, it was actually a family member that recommended it. And uh, I'm just noticing Ray, like, watching my well, hands. Well, I'm just I do talk with my what hands. it is. And, and like... <laughs> Owen's over your shoulders, like, oh, yes. going, oh, yeah. <laughs> so a family member thought you had nice hands or the family member was in the business? Well, this is the thing. She wasn't really in the business. I don't know how she knew about it. I should really ask her after 20 years now of people asking me this question. Yeah. Um, but she just admired my hands initially she said your hands beautiful I wish I had your hands and your nail bed and the straight fingers okay. and so on and so forth you know you should do hand modeling so a bit like how people say wow your hair is gorgeous you should model it and you think no one says that to <laughs> <show. You> think, <laughs> they do <laughs> you know and you sort of think oh that's a nice compliment so I didn't do anything about it I actually ignored it initially and eventually came across the top agency at the time totally coincidentally but I, I had a list of model agencies okay. remember this is pre Internet, yeah, um, and uh, yeah, just phoned up and said, "Hey, yeah, I'm just, you know, just I've got nice hands. I, I think I've got nice hands. Uh, you know, what's it all about, kind of thing." They said, "Well, what makes you think you'd be so good then?" So I had to think on my feet, and I thought, "Well, I had some ballet training, and I thought, well, I've got graceful hands." And anyway, got an appointment at the top agency. They took me on. Brilliant. I walked out of there. I thought, "I'm a model. You know, I've got the model book and everything." Yeah. But I didn't work for the first year. So really, yes. Yeah. So that that shows you it's not just about gorgeous-looking hands. I mean, I always say, you know, just because you have a gorgeous face doesn't mean you're yeah. the next Kate Moss yeah. or the next Heidi Klum. It's about making a name for yourself and the relationships you build. And up also and how you work the camera, the skills. So oh. a lot a lot of people in the industry refer to me as one take Nina, for instance. So you know, I get booked not just because of the way my hands look but because of what I'm doing on set so then we're talking about like we're talking about names like we mentioned Heidi Klum Kate Moss and Natalie Portman all famous faces yes. they obviously have disgusting hands uh, so what is it that you do with, what with is it that people? you do for them well, it's this a is it. Look, look you've got the okay you are her your, your hand is her hand or wow. it looks like it in the shaft that's right. right. So then that shot would have been cropped to make it look like it was her hand using the makeup wow. brush. Now, that is one part of doubling for celebrities or models or big names that you mentioned or whatever. But it may also be a matter of clever editing. So yeah. when I worked with Kate Moss, it was less of the hand on the face so much because I'm dealing with the product that's being sold. Okay. Um, so it's a matter of continuity. So I'll be in Kate Moss's outfit or uh, Natalie Imbruglia or whoever it may be. We've got one of Natalie Portman, I think, here, and this is a picture of you being <laughs> Natalie Portman. Yes. So, um, actually, I'm doing the shot right at the end, so okay. where she picks up the... I was like, the, how did they do that one? Yeah. That would have been challenging, so that's not me either. <laughs> okay. um, no, I, so I'm the shot at the end with the product. So that explains to you a I little see. bit about where the doubling comes into it. It's not always, you know, there where you're is. working together closely, as closely as yeah. 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 You, you grabbed it there, we saw, we saw that. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, so everybody would have thought that would have been Natalie's hand grabbing the product at the end. Has anyone ever been... I, this is the strangest question I have ever asked in uh. my entire life. Has anyone ever been annoyed that you're their hand, or indeed there, because you do some foot modelling as well, are they like, what has she got that I don't... What's wrong with my hands? Like, Not at all, actually. Um, do you know, it's one of these things, I think when you're in the industry, you know that there's all these different people involved that are there to make... Um, the commercial or the shoot happened, you, you're working towards that end result. So I think everybody's professional. They know that you're going to have stand-ins, you're going to have brilliant makeup artists and various people uh -huh. to make you look good. You're also going to have people that stand in for you, your hands. For instance, the first time I met Kate, um, she was thrilled. She came up to me in the canteen in the studio. She was already in her dressing gown and she said, so, a little birdie tells me you're going to be my hands today. And I That's said, amazing. yeah. She said, let's have a look then. And she loves it because everybody thinks they're hers. So I did a <laughs> I've done a deep dive over the last week looking at loads of pictures of Kate Moss to look at her hands and her feet to be like, what are they like, like that Nina enough. has to do all this for her? The other thing is, I, it just reminds me, I did do a foot thing um, with Kate as well for the Rimmel um, advert and she loved it because she 
we, we did a little catwalk thing together, so she had to show me how she walks the catwalk. So that was a brilliant moment, That's you know, cool. just learning from, from the Queen there. Yeah. Um, she was happy because it meant I could do the close-up shots and she could go home. Yeah, less, less <laughs> you know? time yeah. for her working. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, talk about uh, Benedict, or tell us about Benedict Cumberbatch's face. Yes. You, part of the gig was touching his face. That's it was. Wild well, job. it was. It was a, um, a campaign for. Oh, actually, he's the face oh, for he Jaguar is. magazine. That was it. And um, this was just as he was really starting to get hot. Yeah. So yeah. he was just. We. I think we only had ten minutes with him or something. And he came in. There was another hand model involved as well in this shot. And he sat down. And his job was to make all these different. There's many more pictures from this uh, collection here. Right. Different face expressions, and we had to... I mean, there was no direction. Normally, you would get direction, move your finger one millimetre that way, move along... The, there was just no time. Okay. It was improv time. So we were just moving our hands around like this, like this, just doing something creative like that. But he was, you know, amazing, with all pulling all these different faces. It was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, he was great. We mentioned now that your hands are insured for over €2 million. Euro. So there yeah. must be things that you can't do. Are there? Like, would yes. chopping be a bad thing? Or? Well, um, I do chopping on set, but see, this is the thing. I actually do a lot of, um, you know, um, foodie kind of commercials and stuff. But yeah. of course, then you've got another sort of magic of advertising there where you've got your food stylist who's pre prepped it all for you. So then I swoop in and just do the last little bits, and it's all been pre prepped. Yeah. Um, that's not to say that I don't enjoy a little bit of cooking and chopping of vegetables at home now and again, so... But you've got to be very careful. With I that have kind of to money be extremely yeah. careful. Yeah. There are certain things, obviously, I can't... I'm not going to be taking up rock climbing or doing a, a botany course or doing anything that to do with... You know, that could jeopardise okay. um, wow. that. Oh, McDermott, give us a look at your hands there, will you? What, 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 what do you think? They're your, beautiful hands. Good. What do you think of his hands, Nina? Well, I'm pretty good, good at well. judging. I did this with Rod Gilbert, actually, as well. I mentored him because he wanted to see if he could be if a If he could be a hand model. model. Yeah. What so, do you think? I'm feeling so objectified right now, so I'm putting <laughs> it out there. <laughs> the first thing, the first thing... Well, don't feel objectified because it's just, it's just a gig, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. just a job, so... Just a job. Um, <laughs> Yes, cuticle issues we that's have perfect. here. Do we, can, can, we get, can we get the camera in oh, really I, close, please? That's close. I don't think that's about it. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Oh, we don't want to crack the screen. Do you know what? I, can't, I don't <laughs> think he's had a weekend at Electric Picnic. I don't think his brain can take any more. But we've got we've got working up still to come. Louise is making brownies with a, t a twist. They're not your what regular the brownies, Louise. Are they? You mentioned it earlier on. So what's no. the first step here? Okay. Oh, the first step is yeah. chocolate. You can't have brownies without chocolate. So I'm going for dark chocolate chocolate and milk chocolate today. Um, real simple, just open the chocolate, weigh it out. It's 100 or it's 80 grams of each and um, put it in there, or no, 90 grams of each. Um, milk and dark chocolate and pop it in a bowl and you just let it melt away. Or you can put it in the microwave very fast, one minute. Easier, whatever you need. Much, much. But Gorgeous, the Louise. Avocados, avocados, avocados. Looking forward to that in just a little while. Thanks a million, Louise. Looks absolutely Delicious, I must say. I'm looking yeah, forward does, to it. Yeah. Now, we still have lots more chat to come from Owen and Nina. <laughs> and up next, they'll be joined by a man who's hitting the road to help people achieve their goals. <laughs> Fitness expert and motivational speaker Pat Tivoli's with us after the break. Do you like my nails, by the way? I just I got, you did just, a beautiful I just got job them. Of them so I just much. got them done. By the way, give it up for Nina. <laughs> give it up for Nina. <laughs> And Nina, remember to get involved with the show by sending in your comments about your best feature. I'm hiding my hands right now. Yeah, uh, we're all we're all send paranoid. Send a message to WhatsApp 0833606060 or use the hashtag 6VMTV online. Owen is now staring yeah, at his I'll hands as right well. Back. We'll yeah, see you right after the short break.